Hi everyone, uh, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Kingdom of Loathing. Um, I'm exploring the ancient, forbidden, hidden bowling alley. And uh, I've found the ability to bowl. You step up to one of the few bowling lanes that have been kept free of ancient debris. Set a pin standing at the ready at the other end. You got this bowling ball, so why not? Stone ball is heavier than you thought, and the pins turn out to be made of stone as well, but you knock a few of them over and clean up most of the rest in your second attempt. As the ancient pin-setting machinery grinds into action, you hear an audible sneer from the less next lane. Turns out to be a smoky, ghostly apparition with glowing red eyes, holding a scorching blackened bowling ball. So you think you can roll, I say, spirit smirks. Let me show you how a real man does it. Winds up and releases his ball, which rumbles down the lane, arcing gracefully to smash directly into the pins. Strike. Ghost does a very satisfied little dance and turns to sneer at you again. You ain't got what it takes, pendejo. Annoyed, you resolve to show this jerk what for, but ball return seems to have misled your bowling ball. Looks like you'll have to scrounge up another one. So yeah, we're basically fighting... Oh yeah, we're fighting these guys. You're fighting a pygmy bowler. Similar to how golf was invented by a Scots when you knocked an enemy's head off with a club, whereupon it fell into a gopher hole. I don't know if that's the real story or if that's just the story from The Hobbit. Uh, bowling was invented by a pygmy who took an enemy's head, threw it at ten or more enemies who are standing in a perfectly triangle-shaped formation. <laughs> to this day, they take the sport very seriously, and rapid xenophobia is not considered to be against the rules. <laughs> uh, he picks up the can of whatever stuff they spray in rental bowling shoes and spritzes you in the face. Whatever it is, it burns. Nice. Uh, you're fighting a drunk pygmy. Most pygmies do their drinking in bowling alleys because although their bars are set pretty low, their standards are set even lower. We got a pygmy phone number. Oh, dear. Oh, did a dear, dear. Uh, oh, the pygmy blowgun's an item. Oh, neat. It poisoned them. All right. A scrap of paper has a four-digit phone number scroll on it, which can mean only one of two things. Incomplete phone number, and therefore useless, or... A phone number of a pygmy and is therefore extremely dangerous. It gives me the pygmy drinking buddy for 15 adventures. He's violent and unpredictable. You find a payphone in the jungle, which is all right by you, and dial the number. Voice in the other that says, Drinks? I'm <clears throat> on my way. And a drunk pygmy shows up a few seconds later, looking at you expectantly. Now the drunk pygmy. Your pygmy buddy staggers towards your phone, sloppily punches him for three damage. Uh, pygmy orlies. So this is just the same enemy you reuse, but I'm not about to call them out because there's so much other, like, fresh shit in this game. My pygmy buddy punches them again. Another drunk pygmy. Oh, we got a cold water bottle. Nice. Take a look at that. Oh, it's a hat. Uh, filled with ice water you would wear on your head if you had a hangover, and also if you were a character in a New Yorker cartoon. It's 160. Gives me cold damage and cold spells and hot resistance. Oh, let's take a look at what I'm wearing. I've got the scalp of Gorgolok, which gives me muscle and weapon damage. Well, that isn't doing me anything right now, so I'll put on the cold thing. Also, this is much stronger. Let's be fair here. Cold water bottle. Nice. Nice. Back to the bowling alley. Come on, give me more bowling dudes. Another cold water bottle. Oh, pygmy bowler. Ah, oh, damn it. He didn't give me a bowling ball. Jumps behind the bar and starts throwing bottles of booze at you, drinking them dry first. Feels like you're walking on broken glass because that's what you're doing. Nice. More cold water. Okay, pygmy bowler. Come on. You gotta work with me here. He's not giving me a bowling ball. Okay, so what's happening? We need five bowling balls. A Jersey coconut. Damn, that's annoying. It's not a guaranteed drop, huh? Okay. Do I have anything that'll make them drop something? Figure out how to calculate how much damage it's going to take them in this fight, but you can't make head to tails with this stupid calculator. Hit a bunch of numbers, and the calculator displays E. You put it back in your sack. Okay, maybe I can poison him. E it starts to attack, and then... Oh, you chuck the dart directly in your opponent's mouth. He swallows it and turns a little green. Not the outcome you expected, but you'll take it. Starts to attack, and then... Stops, polishes the bowling ball. Then he starts to his 
his attack, but stops and dries his hand and applies powder. Then he starts to attack, but he stops and put on a wrist brace. This man, this is tedious. So how much does this guy even have? He's got 155. It's a 40% chance for a bowling ball. Are you crazy? And yeah, it's a reference to the Hobbit. I thought so. Another drunk pygmy. Oh, God. One of them smacks you in the kneecaps with a bedpan while the others watch and laugh. Okay, pygmy bowler. Work with me. Bowling ball. Hallelujah. Let's roll. New ball in hand, you step up to the lanes. Red Eye Spirit is waiting to continue your match, still sneering derisively. He rolls first, and you're pretty sure you see him lick his ball before he does so. What a weirdo. He gets another strike while you manage to pull out a spare. Ghost Smugness is basically intolerable. The two of you continue a couple more frames before your ball gets lost again. Your opponent, fortunately, doesn't continue his run of strikes. Perhaps the first two are partly luck, but he's still scoring very high, and you're still getting used to these heavy stone balls. Hey, man, you're running away? Oh, hey, man, you're running away? The ghost laugh as you turn to find another ball. You wait right here, you growl. I'll be right back. Whenever you're ready, man, I'll be here. Rolls, uh, he holds out his arms challengingly, his red eyes flashing with evil glee. Okay, Pygmy Bowler. Damn it. Imitation White Russian, huh? Damn. Oh, we got a pill cup. Nice. I recently played uh, the Cat Lady, which was very good. A pill cup. Um, random assortment of pills in it. Oh, it's terrible. It gives me the effect pill party, though. Okay. Bowling ball, yes. Let's roll. Okay. Return to the lanes with a fresh ball and roll a couple of frames against the ghost. Get in the hang of things and your skill is steadily improving. You get a strike of your own. The spirit is plainly annoyed by this and is obviously thrown off his game. He throws a 7-10 split. Bro, that's, that's harsh. 7-10 splits are real fucking annoying. Uh, he throws a 7-10 split and howls with anger. He uses focus for a second roll, but doesn't manage to get the spare. Manage to think you have a chance of beating this jerk. Seems to be thinking the same lines. He stomps up to you in as much as an ethereal specter can stomp while you're kicking a, the ball return and hisses. I'm going to wait for you to get another ball, man. You better come back. We've got a date. You shrug casually in a manner calculated for maximum annoyance and swanter away. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Starting to run out of adventures here, so that's unfortunate. I'm hoping I'll be able to finish this before I run out. Damn. Say it's time to pull in your cath put in your cath and you pull a muscle running away from them. Oh, we got compression stocking. What the hell? The pygmy sphere. All right, compression stocking. Uh, wow. More MP and bunch of regeneration MP. That's pretty damn good. Let's, uh, let's plug that in. Uh, let's lose this. And let's put on that compression sock. And then why not just go completely all out? Pick me phone number. Yippee. Okay, come on. Damn it. Whoa. That's almost 400 raw attack power. That's fucking crazy. Holy shit. Okay. Come on. I want to get it. Okay, pick me bowler. Wow, another one. 444 plus that many plus... Holy shit. And we got an imitation white Russian. Please. So many of them. I'll be frank. Some of the things in this game are kind of here to waste your time. Gold Booze Hounds Anonymous token. Oh, brother. Um, Where would the... Okay. Miscellaneous. This is a token awarded for an entire day of sobriety. Can you even imagine... You take it to the tavern and trade it in for a premium drink. We got a slap and a tickle. <laughs> this is gin, grapefruit juice, and ice. Perfect for people who can't regu handle regular old gin and juice. Good booze, though. And I'm totally out. So let's see if I can drink anything before I uh, pass out. Hup. Okay. 
We got three adventures. Pygmy Bowler. Yes. You stride into the alley like you own the place. You find the red-eyed specter throwing practice balls. He puffs out his chest. Well, the ghostly silhouette of his chest when he sees you. He's got his confidence back. Worst luck. Ready for this man? He chortles. Well, I'm going to mess you up. Yeah, well, that's just like your opinion, man, you mutter. Ghost is back in top form again, but unfortunately, you're getting pretty good at the game yourself. By the time the ball return chokes, you're practically tied and down to the last frame. As you leave to go find one more bowling ball, he starts throwing practice rolls again. Too angry to even trash talk you as you go. <gasps> Fuck. All right. Huh. Well, that's uh, not what I expected. We're all out of adventures, so... Oh, this is a drink. Oh, because it's an imitation white Russian. Non-dairy creamer and fake vodka. Okay. Let's just chug this then. 11 adventures and 4 drunkenness. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll pick that up tomorrow because I'm too drunk to adventure now. Uh. And by tomorrow, I guess I mean in a couple of hours. Because that's when the rollover is. But yeah, um. That's Kingdom of Loathing. Uh, I was hoping to get a little more recorded, but I suppose I can wait for later. I, I'm i stopping this here for a particularly short episode. I obviously have had very long episodes in the past. Some of them are like 40 minutes. Some of them are almost an hour. Um, I'm only stopping it here because I want to I wanna be able to pick up... A, a, g -g -g -g. Excuse me. I want to pick this up as a completely new episode. Um, but yeah, uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Cable Loathing. Uh, and I think that's episode 30 and damn, I've recorded 30 of these things. That's more than anything. I've, I've recorded more of this than I have anything else. I've even recorded more of this than I have of like Minecraft and Minecraft is so easy to record. Granted, I've dropped off recording it, but that's because I upload too much of it. So yeah, um, again, I've been Alfred. Thanks for coming by. Play Kingdom Loathing yourself. It's free. Bye.